An architect's dream is an engineer's nightmare. Some of the buildings in today's video seem to defy physics, but yet it's possible with modern technology and with clever minds. So join me as we take a look at 15 amazing structures that defy gravity. Number 15. Tea House on the Tree Leave it to Japan to find new and exciting ways to combine old and new nature with modern living. The Japanese architect Terunobu Fujimori designed the Takasugian, or the tea house built too high, or more commonly known as the tea house on the tree. This cute little tree house isn't just for kids though, it was designed with both tea and meditation in mind, and its location makes it the perfect place to relax, turn off your mind for a bit, and forget about the woes of everyday life. With this gravity-defying structure, Fujimori took the simple design of a Japanese tea house and quite literally elevated it to the next level by resting it on two chestnut tree trunks. So think of the tea house on the tree as a house on stilts. It has just one room, probably to keep it from toppling to the ground, while also maintaining the minimalist Japanese aesthetic. Okay, it may have a goofy look to it, fit for a fantasy novel locale, but as long as it doesn't fall down while someone's inside of it, then it's okay with me. Number 14. Endless Bridge All good things must come to an end, unless that is you're talking about the Endless Bridge in Minneapolis, Minnesota in the United States. Not only does this structure seem to defy gravity and obey its own laws of physics, but it looks like it defies human logic entirely. The Endless Bridge was designed by the architect Jean Nouvelle and opened to the public in 2006. Okay, despite the name, the Endless Bridge does actually end, and actually, it's not even a bridge. Well, it rose by any other name, I guess. The Endless Bridge is more of a lookout point, built to give people a new and unique viewing experience of the Mississippi River, the largest river in the United States. The Endless Bridge is part of the Guthrie Theater and extends about 200 feet north of the building, so everyone inside is also treated to a lovely view of the Upper St. Anthony Falls area and the Stone Arch Bridge. And so something this fancy with such great views must cost a pretty penny to be part of, right? Well, wrong. Admission to the Endless Bridge is totally free, as all views should be. But if you really want the full experience, stand right underneath the structure and see how long it takes for you to think it's going to fall right on your head. Number 13. Odello Solar Furnace Perhaps with a name like Solar Furnace, you may think to steer clear of this next architectural and engineering feat, but in reality, the Odello Solar Furnace in France is an amazing structure, definitely worth checking out during a trip to the country. The largest of its kind, the Odello Solar Furnace is a staggering 177 feet tall and 157 feet wide. And while those dimensions alone are enough to impress even the grumpiest of architecture lovers, it's really the shape of the structure that has people stopping in their tracks. The Solar Furnace is an amazing curve-shaped structure that looks like it's meant to pick up interstellar radio waves or deflect lasers. But this concave mirror is an amazing 21,000 square feet across the front of the building and absorbs a whole lot of sunlight throughout the year. The Solar Furnace is made up of a series of mirrors that redirect the sunlight to a small point within the mirror to harvest for all sorts of fun and eco-friendly uses, like providing energy. And you may think that the Odello Solar Furnace is a more recent endeavor, but actually it was built during the 1960s and opened in 1970. Number 12. Museum of Tomorrow Have you ever wanted to feel what it's like to float above the ocean without having to hit 30,000 feet? Well, the Museum of Tomorrow in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil will let you do exactly that. Completed and first opened to the public in 2015, the Rio's Museum of Tomorrow is an awesome museum that saw one and a half million guests in just its first year. And nowadays, it's one of the most visited places in the entire country, and it's not hard to see why. Sure, everything it has to offer on the inside is as amazing as it is culturally and historically significant, but it's the architecture of the building that has people's jaws on the floor. Designed by Santiago Calatrava, they wanted to create something that would allow people to ponder the relationship between nature and their city, while keeping the world of tomorrow in mind. So not only does this structure extend over the crystal clear waters, but it's also been designed with solar panels, rainwater collecting, and with recycled water in mind too. And while it looks like a towering canopy from afar, when you get closer, you'll realize that the elevated and extended structure is just 15 feet above the ground. Number 11. Dancing House 
Easily one of the most unique structures in not just the Czech Republic but of all of Europe is the Dancing House. Found in the nation's capital of Prague, the Dancing Houses were designed by Vlada Malunik and Frank Gehry and were completed in 1996. The pair wanted to create something that was not only aesthetically beautiful but gravity-defying as well, and that's clearly exactly what they did with this building. The structure is also more commonly referred to as Ginger and Fred, referencing the two iconic dancers Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. That's because the structure really does look like two masculine and feminine structures dancing together in the skyline. The dancing house is full of bends, twists, and turns that illustrate the type of sensual movements you may witness on the dance floor between two seasoned professionals. But despite the name and the super fun look, the dancing house is full of office buildings. You'd think that a place like this would be home to some of the most creative minds in Prague, but alas, the dancing house is just full of a bunch of squares. Number 10. Balancing Barn Some buildings out there have a name that just hits it right on the head, and the Balancing Barn is no exception. Found in Suffolk in the United Kingdom, the Balancing Barn is as awesome as it is gravity-defying, appearing to balance perfectly on the top of a small hill. One false move or one strong gust of wind and this thing looks like it's ready to come down, but you can rest easy because the Dutch architecture firm MVRDV designed and developed the balancing bar just right so it can always maintain its death-defying balancing act. The balancing barn is just one story tall and appears to have one half on the ground with the other suspended in midair. But in reality, this floating section is held up by one small beam, and if you squint hard enough, you just might be able to see it. The structure is made of a metal that reflects the sun, and despite perhaps its odd and austere appearance, the barn is actually incredibly comfortable and fully furnished on the inside. And believe it or not, the balancing barn in Suffolk is available to rent, serving for one interesting conversation piece at any dinner parties that may be hosted there. Number 9. Torre Mare Nostrum a lot of times, a building's designer wants the exterior to look as good as the interior, which is why the architects Enric Morales and Benedetta Tagliabue cooked up their gravity-defying design for the Torre Mare Nostrum, an office building in Barcelona, Spain. Completed in 2008, this funky office building looks like much of it is floating in midair, with its most prominent feature being the horizontal block of the building that juts out right of the main structure. The main structure of the Torre Mare Nostrum is 20 stories tall and over 280 feet high, with the protrusion standing at just 5 stories high, but sticking its nose out about 131 feet away from the rest of the building. And so just how is the Torre Mare Nostrum able to look this way without completely falling over? Well, it's because it contains four concrete cores, despite the intricate design. You have to admit that it's not a bad look for something as boring as an office building, and may even bring a little excitement to the folks working the old 9 to 5 in there. Number 8. The Rotterdam Building Easily one of the most impressive and wild-looking buildings on our list thus far is the De Rotterdam Building in the Netherlands. The height alone is staggering, standing at 489 feet tall in the heart of the city and overlooking the water. The building, though, almost looks like poorly stacked blocks just waiting to fall over, with the top level of the tower sitting off-center and off-base from the lower sections. But when something this gravity-defying is designed, you can rest assured that all of the proper precautions were taken. The Rotterdam building is totally wind-resistant and built to last. The idea here, though, is that the majority of the people are going to see De Rotterdam from their car window, so the strange design will create the illusion that the building is contorting and moving as the passengers drive by. So as the views change, the tower appears to rise, separate, and then merge once again. Just make sure not to drive too fast. Number 7. Estate Bungalow the Estate Bungalow is an awesome structure situated amongst the trees in Matugama, Sri Lanka. Bungalow is designed to serve as a peaceful woodland retreat for a young business owner whenever they wanted to escape the hustle and bustle of city living, and what they built truly defies the laws of nature. This bungalow sits on a hefty 42 acres of private land and gives probably the best elevated, undisturbed, and unobstructed views of the hills and valleys. The structure builds up, getting larger as it elevates, and looks as if the bottom is barely touching the ground that it sits on. But the design is much simpler than you would think, with its look based on the Sri Lankan watch hut, which farmers would sit in to watch over their crops and livestock from an elevated point, 
but this earthy bungalow was made completely from steel, wooden cladding, and bamboo to help it blend in with the surrounding nature as best as possible. And because it's so elevated and minimal, towards the base of the estate bungalow, it doesn't interfere with any of the surrounding vegetation or wildlife. But perhaps even cooler, as the entire structure can be easily disassembled, so when the owner is ready to pack up and move on, it'll be like they were never there. Leave no trace. Number 6. Pole House The Pole House is one of the most photographed homes in Australia, and it's really not hard to see why. Sitting on, or really over, Fairhaven Beach, the Pole House has some really stellar views of the ocean as it shoots out over the lush green hills towards the water, seemingly dangling 130 feet in the air. The home was originally designed in the 1970s by Frank Dixon when he decided to build a vacation home somewhere where he could enjoy the scenery while feeling a bit isolated from the rest of the world. To get to the house, Dixon and his family have to walk down the long perpendicular walkway connecting the structure to the street, which is supported by just one thin pillar. It is truly a one-of-a-kind home, but unfortunately its beach location is also its downfall. After years of exposure to the elements, incessant winds, and ocean sprays, the pole house has since become incredibly fragile before being restored in more recent years. Number 5. The Seventh House When it comes to creative and groundbreaking architecture, the Swedes really know what they're doing, so leave it to them to design something like the Seventh House. The Seventh House is a hotel in the Pine Forests in northern Sweden. The entire structure sits just over 30 feet above the ground, which is just tall enough to give residents the best views of the Lapland treetops and the Lule River. This is another classic case of designers wanting to bring people closer to nature and have them reevaluate their relationship with it. But the place looks like it's floating in midair, and that illusion is only reinforced by the netted terrace suspended above the forest floor. The seventh house has a Nordic style with a wooden facade clad with pine boards, which help to blend in with the surrounding trees. The structure's base is covered in an aluminum sheet with printed black and white images of the trees to help camouflage it amongst the forest, so you can really become one with nature. But the best part about the seventh house is the lift that carries the guests' luggage up for them while they walk up the weaving staircase and through the tree trunk columns of the entrance. Number 4. Hameroscopium House Hameroscopium is the Greek word for the place when the sun sets, so it's a fitting name for the next gravity-defying entry on this list. The Hameroscopium in Madrid, Spain is designed to look like the world's most dangerous game of Jenga, and yet somehow the pieces all manage to keep each other afloat. The structure itself is incredibly heavy and probably provokes gravity's pull more than makes use of space but the structures are fashioned in such a way that they pile up to create a helix that sets out from the main support beam. It only goes up from there, as pieces become lighter as things move higher, and the final point is the cherry on top of this odd equilibrium. And while the heroscopium's design may defy gravity, the architects defied time itself, constructing it in just seven days. Number 3. Upside Down House when it comes to good design, sometimes you need to take everything that you know and just turn it on its head. And that's probably what the architects of this next entry said. The Upside Down House is a funky little marvel in Poland, designed by Claudius Golos and Sebastian Makuczyk. The structure is part of the Die Weltstefkopt project, or the World of the Upside Down, which attempted to give people a new variety of everyday things. Well, do you think it worked in this case? Well, just as you would expect, everything in the project was inverted, therefore actually being upside down. The upside down house looks like it was swept up in a tornado and finally landed in the land of Oz, on its 6% incline, and it's just waiting for the right moment to fall over onto another wicked witch. Everything about the house is inverted save the stairs, which is the only way to get in and out of the upside down house. But despite your best efforts, the death defying house isn't meant to have inhabitants and is purely an art piece. Number 2. Pass Museum More commonly known outside of its home country of Austria as the Pass Museum, the Timmelschock experience looks more like a natural formation on the brink of collapse than it does a man made structure. The Pass Museum was designed by Italian architect Werber Scholl and sits in the mountain pass that runs between the border of Italy and Austria in the Alpine Ridge. The museum is part of a series of five smaller sculptures along the Alpine Road, but this one in particular is the real showstopper. 
Built 8,230 feet above sea level, the structure sticks out across 52 feet of space, with the kicker here being the entrance to the Pass Museum is in Austria, and by the time you make it to the other floating side, you've entered Italy. And so while the design itself may not be incredibly groundbreaking, it's the idea of crossing the border like that that has you really thinking. Number 1. CCTV Headquarters when it comes to infrastructure, all roads lead back to China. The CCTV headquarters in Beijing is pretty incredible at over 767 feet tall and with one odd shape. The building looks like a weird three-dimensional loop formed by its two leaning towers, both bent at a 90-degree angle at the top and bottom to create one infinite circuit. The headquarters' main support comes from the irregular grid on the surface, which acts as a visible expression of the forces moving about the structure, with one off-balance section going 13 stories up and the deepest point of the building suspended over 530 feet from the ground. But the odd shape also holds a valuable purpose. The building is found in an area that sees some seismic activity, and so the unique exoskeleton of the headquarters carries the building's extreme loads and transfers them throughout the building. And so, despite the shape and the seismic activity of the area, the building is actually quite safe. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.